Welcome to the Advanced Interaction Story Tutorial Series. In these videos, we will explore how to utilize the Custom Graph Editor to seamlessly connect level sequences based on user input, allowing you to craft immersive story-driven gameplay experiences. In today's video, we will cover No Time Events. Let's get started. First and foremost, ensure that the game instance is configured to Advanced Interactive Story Game Instance in the project settings. Next, let's create a new story to play our cinematics. For quick testing, you can enable debug mode and assign our story to the Story Controller Blueprint. Open the Story Editor and craft the cinematics for your story. Then, associate level sequences with all cinematics. For this example, I'll be using the level sequences provided with the plugin. In this scenario, we want the story to branch out based on user input, which is why we've added two cinematics branching out from the root cinematic. Moving forward, we need to set the QuickTime event IDs and texts on the QuickTime event icons. The texts represent what the user will see when prompted and the IDs are related to keys associated with each choice. These keys must correspond to the QuickTime Event Keys data table. Don't forget to save your progress in the Story Editor. Now, we must add the same QuickTime Event to the Level Sequencer. Click on Track and add the corresponding QuickTime Event track. Adjust the position to determine when the prompt will occur. Let's run a test to see our progress. It is working as expected. Next, we'll fine-tune some settings for this quick time event. Right-click on the track section and go to Properties. Here, we can specify which widget will be displayed for the choices. You can choose whether the choices will appear on the UI or in the 3D environment, which we'll cover in later videos. Additionally, you can decide whether the choices will be grouped together. If you opt for grouping and choose the UI, you can select the location for it, with 0.5 representing the center of the screen. Let's move it slightly down and run another test. If you prefer not to group choices together, you can alter the widget group type and adjust their locations individually. Should you wish to create your own widgets, duplicate the original to your project folder. Add any UI elements in the design view and modify these events to trigger animations or change colors. Repeat the same process for the group widget if you want to show the choices in a group. This widget maintains a list that populates with choices upon creation. And there's an event to set its location on the UI.
for a more comprehensive understanding of these features, be sure to consult the documentation. Thank you for watching.